day there, world. Walmart's a wrap. Decent sleep. People were a bit noisy, but they quieted down by 11, so we got through with that. We're done our workout for the day, showered and freshened up. But we noticed, I was coming back from the shower, our slide went in last night and it didn't take the awning in. I'll show you here, but we have about three and a half to four hours of driving plan for today. First, I'm gonna have to fix this little problem. For some reason, I'm gonna have to tighten this. It's come slack on me. It twists by hand, so I think that'll be the solution. Excuse the lawnmower in the background, but I think I may have found the problem here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this right now. That thing isn't even in its track. It's about to pop out of there. Excuse me? So this part down here is was super loose. So we tightened that and that cinched this whole canvas rod back up because it was able to like loosely fall out over there. Now that we've tightened that, Alicia's going to put the slide in here and we'll see if it's actually tight enough to roll the canvas in and that solves our problems or if they continue. Let's find out. Hit it, Alicia! Didn't fix it, guys. Whoa! Still not turning, guys. Gonna have to hand roll it in, pull it in, and then figure us out. Alright, we're done at the gym this morning and we're about to hit the road again. We're heading over to, uh, on the way to Winnipeg, so pretty cool. And our next stop that we stop at is going to be a pretty iconic one. We'll see you there. Let's see how long she stays here when we start driving. Probably not very long. Nope. As soon as we started the truck, she ran. Alright, we're pulling into our first stop. Super excited. We're at the center of Canada! Oh! <laughs> center officially and on the longitude it said. Yeah, so we're halfway across the country officially. That's right. Sped through the first bit. There's nothing on the prairies as you can see. The last three hours of the day basically nothing's even really happened. There's stuff in the prairies, but I mean... Not like Banff <laughs> and everything else we've seen at the start at least, so... We've ripped through pretty quick here this last week. We've done some good kilometers put down. So we're going to enjoy the Maritimes in a little bit coming up. We're getting close to Ontario. We're not going to quite make it in today, but center of Canada here. A bit farther to the next stop. And it'll be in Ontario tomorrow, most likely. Yep. We were trying to find the center of Canada, and it looked like the turnoff was coming up quick. And we saw a sign for landmark. And we thought that was going to be the pullover for this, as if it was a landmark. But apparently landmark's a town in Manitoba. Oops. And here we are, pulled into what we're going to use as our campground for the night. It's a little rest area, maybe, let's say, 40 minutes east of Winnipeg. So we did a bit more driving, took the bypass past the whole main city. Maybe we'll stop by next time when we go through Canada on the way back west. And we'll take advantage of this rest area. Another free camping after doing Walmart last night. Keep that budget in check. And then we'll see what we can get up to in this little fun spot. It looks pretty cool. Picnic tables, nice grassy area. We read online that people even pitch tents at this rest area. I don't know if that's more common in Manitoba. In BC, it's kind of like, eh, if they want you to park in rest area, rest areas. But we are going to enjoy it here. And then hit the road again tomorrow. Tomorrow should be Ontario. We cleaned the RV this morning, and now we are ready to head to Ontario. It's not always glamorous RV life in the rest area here. So many semis went past throughout the night. We had a roof fan on above us. And it had such a loud whirling kind of noise on even the lowest setting. It's kind of a noisy fan. But the white noise really blocked out the semi-truck noise quite a bit at least. So, Good morning, guys. So we have headed down the road a little bit to a place called Falcon Lake. It's right on the border of Manitoba and Ontario. And it seems like a cute little like beach town. It's like a park, beach town kind of thing. It's like deserted though because it's like a rainy day and it's a Monday and yeah, there's like nobody here. So <laughs> we are just hanging out in this area for now. We might head over into Ontario in a little bit here, but being a rainy day, we're just going to catch up on some work and hang out for a little bit. <laughs> we're heading over to this other parking area, but I'm sitting at the dinette table while we drive. Don't worry, I have a seatbelt. 
cool back there? Yeah. Well, that's it. That's all for staying at Falcon Lake here. I guess this counts as part of White Shell Provincial Park, which is in the nearby area. It doesn't show up on our Google Maps as this Falcon Lake whole town being in the Provincial Park. But So we were just sitting here and then the, I guess, park patrol people showed up. Luckily, no ticket or anything. They just warned us you have to buy a whole Manitoba Provincial Park pass for $40 or a day pass for $5. But we are on our way east still. Ontario is kind of the plan for tonight, so I guess we're leaving Falcon Lake and back on the road. Glad we didn't get a ticket at least. Oof. That would have been an unplanned expense. Welcome to Ontario. We've officially entered Ontario, and now we are gonna go try and find a park to get some work done and hang out there for the day. But before we get to the park, there's a chips truck at this pullover stop we made. So we're gonna go get some French fry chips here, and then loop around the block over to the park we're gonna stay at. French fries. Is this vinegar? Yeah, probably. Oh, wow. Oh, French fries. So, just got some French fries from Ye Old Chip Truck here in Kenora. Supposedly, they're world famous, is what the guy I was talking to and the employee guy here said. But we tried a few and they are delicious. I just went for basic salt and vinegar, but they have them deep fried so nicely. I think they might have used a different oil or something because they crisped up nicely and have a kind of unique flavor more than just regular salt and vinegar, but those guys do fries right at ye old chip truck. And I think they put a lot of vinegar on too. I've only had one, but... People very, keep showing up. Very vinegar forward and he's been very busy for like 3 o'clock. We've had our fries and rounded the bend to Norman Park here. But that's the other thing, like Walmart, sure, it's not glamorous, but it's just a place to lay your head sometimes at night. Even if we just look around and enjoy the parks all day until 10 o'clock, 10.30, we could still just go pass out at Walmart and start the next day, wake up and leave from there. Pretty boring day so far. We've just been editing some videos and relaxing and checking out the park a little bit, but... Ontario and french fries though. Yeah, so we're ready to hit the road again. Well, not even hit the road. We're gonna head through the town of Kenora and from the maps it looks like it's gonna be a super pretty drive, so looking forward to that. And we're going to go try and find a Shell hotspot, so some free Wi-Fi for us because we need some Wi-Fi for what we're doing on the computer, so gonna go do that and then head to Walmart later tonight to go and sleep. that we used to find free camping failed us. So no overnight parking in this Walmart here in Kenora. So we found, I think like a little pull off on the side of the road that's on a lake here, just down the road a little bit. It's called Dogtooth Lake, I think. So we're gonna go check that out. It's about 20 minutes down the road. So we'll see what it's like. I can't believe that Walmart was a no overnight camping. We have seen it before, but pretty rare I think so that sucks but we got a pretty beautiful spot Alicia found here you know it's just off the highway but I gotta say pretty cool little camps on the lake I think I read there's I think there counts smaller lakes but it's like 250,000 or over 250,000 lakes in Ontario we're looking forward to exploring Ontario it should be pretty nice here a little kind of bit more similar to BC where we're from so explore that I want to look into the fishing license process here if it's just a quick simple cheaper one or how that's going to go because we do have fishing rods we packed and I've been wanting to use my new one for a while so maybe some fishing coming up. This will probably be a wrap for this video here too guys so thank you for tuning in as always. Give it a like if you've been enjoying that RV life still and otherwise we will see you in the next video when we roll out of this beautiful campsite here and we take off into Ontario and maybe I want to try and find somewhere to camp for multiple nights soon. We've been hopping around too much so Let's see if we can get somewhere a bit better to settle in and have an actual camping experience again. But take care, guys. Join us next time when we show you a day in the life of boondocking at a beautiful lake in Ontario.